Welcome back to another episode of Gas Next Gears. I'm your host, Daniel, and yeah, welcome back to another video. It's been a bit too long, uh, but you know, unfortunately, lockdown has made things a bit more difficult to shoot videos and whatnot, but enough of that. Uh, today, we're in Sydney, meeting up with uh, Stig. I'll leave a link in the description below uh, for his uh, Instagram page, but uh, we're gonna check out his awesome Audi R8. Uh, but yeah, look, enough of me. Let's get to the video. Stig, how you going, man? Oh, far out. Man, this thing looks awesome, man. Um, yeah, thanks so much for being on the channel. Uh, yeah, this thing looks awesome. I am <laughs> um, in shock and awe. Vegas Yellow? Yep, Vegas Yellow. Oh, it's beautiful. One it's beautiful. Of three in Australia. One of, yeah. You should, people should order more of like cars just in brighter colors. Yeah. Audis tend to go with the black and gray, but yellow is freaking awesome. But yeah, look, uh, let's go grab a bite to eat and uh, yeah, check out this car. Sure, awesome. let's do it. So, um, stock exhaust? Nah. Uh, aftermarket, yeah? Okay. <laughs> Cause I also noticed, um, so mods wise, uh, what have you got done to it? Uh, not a lot. Uh, got a, like a carbon front back. Yeah. Then, uh, yeah, the exhaust, it's Akrapovich. Yeah. And, yeah, custom steering wheel. Oh, oh yeah, because that actually doesn't look like the, yeah. the standard. So extra like stitching, just that uh, 12 o'clock lining in itself as well. And carbon. That's awesome. Yeah. That would have uh, set you back a pretty penny. <laughs> <laughs> it was all right, it took a while yeah. to come in. I just got, that's awesome, man. PM. So, um, you know, tell us more, I guess, about your car history in general. So, like, obviously, um, you didn't start off straight up uh, with the R8. No. <laughs> <laughs> what did you start off with? Uh, my first car was a Hyundai Getz. Oh, yeah. that's a big jump from the Getz to this. <laughs> <laughs> no, it, it, yeah. I, I had to jump through some hoops. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, then that was in uni. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. After uni, when I got my first job, I got a Honda Type R uh -huh. FN2. Oof. So that was a good manual, like, good car. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I got, like, the suspension just killed me. Oh. So, yeah. So it was, was like, it rode harder than this? Uh, that was in Melbourne. Uh, so, yeah, Melbourne. okay. So, okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, no, the uh, roads were alright, but just, like, long, long. Like yeah. long drives, yeah, yeah, love, love rain, but yeah, it was a manual six speed, yeah, amazing. Had good times with that car, yeah, had huge two subwoofers in the back. <laughs> <laughs> so, were you one of those guys where you know you're driving down Chapel Street, just like sound blaring and all that stuff? <laughs> I wish, I wish, yeah, that's awesome. Uh, oh. After that, I bought a Cayman S, oh, okay, yeah, that was good. So that would have been like sort of your first uh, jump into like I guess a sports car in itself yeah. as well. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so Cayman S was good value too. Yeah. I sold it after three years huh? for like two grand less than what I bought it for. That, and if that, I kept it, it would have gone up by now. That's so lucky. It's quite rare that you yeah. find like a lot of uh, I guess cars that either re yeah. retain their value or at least gain value as time goes. Especially Porsche. Yeah. Porsches do yeah. that. Yeah. And uh, yeah, so it's all about timing and when you buy it. Yeah. yeah. Man, this thing sounds awesome. <laughs> so, um, so after the Cayman S, uh, what was the next? Uh... I bought a Panamera. Oh. Because, More um, executive lifestyle there. <laughs> Porsche to Porsche. <laughs> well, that time when I was working in Melbourne, yeah, I, I got a new job uh -huh. and I had to move place called Broken Hill. Oh, okay. It's in the outback, yeah. about 1400 k's from Sydney. Jeez. So, 
you wanted something at least like did long distance comfortably yeah. but still fun as well I assume and my life fit in my car so yeah. initially when I moved, I moved from Tassie to yeah. Melbourne yeah. my life fit in my, my Cayman <laughs> Uh, but then I thought I need more space, so yeah, yeah bought a came, uh, Panamera. That's not mm. bad though. I mean, like it's a it's a good. Obviously, I feel like with Porsche, um, you wouldn't necessarily go from the sports car to something more of a sedan yeah. and go the other way. Yeah. But this time you're like, hey, you know what? Why not? Why not try it? Out? Yeah, and it was just that stage of life. I yeah. need more space, and uh, yeah, it's not to everyone's taste mm -hmm. that car, but I enjoyed it. It was like a bigger uh, 911 yeah yeah so yeah that was good times then I bought an M6 BMW oh, yeah. that was the first first V8 oh okay and yep yep yeah that was awesome it's yeah. like one of those things where I feel like um, even though uh, when BMW decided that like they were going to um, you know transition from the V10 to the V8 I was always skeptical I was like yeah. oh V8 is gonna be boring it's not gonna be the same as fun but after seeing a few videos and after seeing when people are actually tuning their cars, it's like they push out a lot of power. Oh man, it was insane. I I wanted the shit out Yeah, I had the Acro exhaust yeah. again and then lots and lots of carbon yeah. and again steering, custom steering, and lots of things. That was black too. Yeah. So it looked mint when it was clean. So, um, yeah, so as you're saying, pretty much blacked out, um, M6, and how long did you have that one for? Uh, about three years. Three years, yep. And one of my Instagram followers bought it on me. Oh, no way. And he still drives it. He loves it. <laughs> He's in uh, Darwin. Oh. So he came, he flew down to Sydney and yeah. took me back. So I guess so, it's one of those things where, who knows, maybe later in life it might go full circle and then it comes back to you and is... Uh, could be. I still miss that car. It was, <laughs> it was an awesome car. Yeah. And yeah. it was more practical too. It had four seats. Yeah. Yeah. And a big boot. So, yeah, this is not practical. <laughs> oh, look, I mean, it's one of those things where you have this for the weekend and yeah. then you have something else for the week. Yeah. But uh, that's awesome. And then uh, from the M6, uh, what did you jump into next? This one. Wow. That's, yeah. that's awesome. Yeah, and believe it or not, yeah. I bought it a month before my wedding. <laughs> well, I'm pretty sure the wife would have been uh, pretty well, happy with it. wife but... wasn't happy at all. <laughs> she wasn't yeah. happy. But That's turns cool. out, yeah. it was the right time to buy. And it's gone up in value since then. Yeah, because like, uh, you know, for some people who might not know, um, Audi has stopped bringing the R8 to Australia, which is a bit sad. But... Um, seems like we're missing out on a lot of things. Yeah, and then now the GTR. GT, exactly. Yeah. Have you looked at GTR prices? That's crazy. Like, no one's going to pay that for the GTR one. Like, you wouldn't pay one million. Yeah, I saw, I saw that one and I was like, no, there's no bloody way I would ever pay a million yeah. dollars just... Look, I, I, I like GTRs, but there's a lot of other things I could buy for a million dollars. Yeah. But, um, yeah, it's like one of those things where... For me, I always thought like, okay, this could potentially be the attainable supercar. Yeah. But then obviously, you know, they're not making it anymore. So that means prices have all gone up. And I'm just like, well, there goes my shop. It's all gone now. <laughs> well, you never know. You never know. Like, I, I bought it at the dip. Yeah. So yeah. it was, I was lucky. And at that time, I struggled though. For yeah. A while, especially with money and uh, yeah. my wife, <laughs> who wasn't very happy. But now yeah. she, she gets it. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, look, it's one of those things where sometimes you just have to take that um, leap of faith and just hope that, like, it's the right decision long term. But, yeah. I mean, look, you can't put money on a smile when, you when you know, when, this, when the car sounds this good <laughs> and looks this good. I reckon, you know what, it's always worth it. So, in terms of um, with mods for this, so you've got, as you were saying before, a crop of rich exhaust. Uh, different wheels as well, I saw yeah. that. War Steiners. War Steiners. Uh, Notice you also had like a aftermarket lip as well. Yeah. Makes it look menacing. Yeah, I, I bought a, yeah. the wing too. Oh, okay. And that was like, it was too complicated to put it on because it's not the plus version. Oh. So you have to spend about five, six grand to put it on. Really? And I'm not a big fan of that wing. Yeah. So like if I put it on and I don't like it, yeah. I can't change it. <laughs> so. Yeah, that'd yeah, be like 
five five grand down the drain yeah. that you didn't want to necessarily plus, lose. Plus the wing. Plus the wing. So oh. I bought the wing. I didn't buy yeah. the other stuff, and then yeah. I saw the wing. I was like, oh, loop's fine. Yeah, yeah. Uh, exhaust was uh, definitely a great addition. Uh, yeah. It makes me wonder, like, I mean, stock these did sound good, but yeah. that just amplifies it. I think this makes it like as good as ever I can. Yeah, yeah. The sound. Obviously, because you know you get the um, the V10 prowess clearly is similar with the Lamborghini, but at the same time, it's like the service being Audi means like it's like it's like yeah. an Audi. You know what I mean? Yeah, they're pretty much the same car yeah. underneath, but yeah, I, I would say Huracan looks cooler, but yeah, inside the space, there's no space. Yeah, I, w I must say, like, I was expecting to jump in here and not have that much leg room or even, like, yeah. I didn't even know, like, the R8's got, like, a little shelf in the back here as well. But it's actually really as, pra no, I wouldn't say practical. Yeah. It's, well, it's a little bit more practical than, I guess, yeah. most other supercars, I guess. The other thing yeah. I like is the, like, you can see yeah. things. Like, yeah. it's it's not the, the drive, yeah, in a Lamborghini, I drove a Lamborghini, yeah. And, barely tell what's behind you. <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah. like it's all like either there's like a pillar here, a pillar there, so it's like yeah. blind spot central yeah. basically. Yeah, but yeah, it's a Lambo. <laughs> so you just, that's that's, that's part thing. of it, right? Yeah, people stay away anyway. <laughs> yeah. And so, um, I guess when you were, you know, before the wedding, you were like thinking to yourself, okay, I want to get myself a supercar. How come I end up going with the R8 over, I guess, the comp like the competition anyway? Oh, uh, well, I always wanted a 911. Oh, okay. So, but uh, it was just that Audi announced at that time that they're not going to make the V10 anymore. Oh. And I was like, this is my time. If I don't buy it now, I can not <laughs> buy it again because the prices are going to climb. Yeah, yeah. So that's when I got it. And my options then were like, okay, yellow or blue. <laughs> oh, so those are like sort of the only two yeah, that were. It has to be. Section. It has to yeah. be a lie. Yeah. It has to be a bright color. Yeah, yeah. Buying a V10, yes, it has to be a bright color. So I never thought I'll. Never even thought about white or black. Or yeah, gray. yeah. So I was like, yeah. Then I saw the yellow, I'm like, yeah, cool. This is perfect. <laughs> <laughs> it's one of those things where, uh, like, I've um, seen a few, like, of those. I think it was the Sepang Blue, I think. Mm -hmm. And, I mean, it's it's a good color, but it's, you're right, it's a little bit understated. But for me, this, I remember, I think when you came to Canberra, it would have been a couple of months ago now, but I remember seeing you drive through, and I was like, this thing looks like nothing else, in, you know, I've seen before in terms of, the color just popped. Yeah, it was just there. It like it just screamed supercar, but at the same time, 
being Audi practical makes a lot more sense, but this, I think the color just really suits it, really, really suits it. And like, have you ever thought about ever changing the color, doing any wraps or anything like that? You're like, this is it. I bought it, it went yeah. straight to, I did come home and went for PPF. Oh. <laughs> PPF. Yeah. yeah, that's yeah. it. I don't, I don't need, I don't think I need to change the color. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's one of those things where I think it, it just stands out in the rightest of ways. And the fact that you've gone with the black wheels as well, it just like, yeah, the black, you know, wing, perfect. for being a part of the show. Um, like, share, subscribe. Um, use the links in the description below uh, to support the channel and I'll see you on the next one.